Hello and welcome to IP Innovative Peer Reviewer Training and Support Program. In this video, we are going to discuss our module 4 that is how to review an article. Reviewing an article in scholarly and academic publishing is very important and crucial step that help in maintaining the quality of research. Here we have listed some basic steps for article reviewing in this particular video. So let's start with our basic terminologies and steps for reviewing an article. Aim and scope. Significance for journal. Understand the methodology. Quality and originality of manuscript. Focus on strength and weakness. Evaluation of ethical integrities. Constructive feedback and submitting the comments. Let's start these points in depth. Number one, check aim and scope. It starts with reading an article thoroughly and to check whether the article is coming under aim and scope of the journal or not. It is very basic thing a reviewer must check and a reviewer need to check in an article. Number two, understand the significance for journal. It is very important to understand the significance of a manuscript for a journal. Consider what is required for each section of the article. Reviewer can ask for any additional information or experiment related to methodology or results if required. That can lead to enhancement in necessity of paper for the journal. Number three, understand the methodology. Examine the methodology, suitability, and accuracy of the manuscript. Once you see whether the paper can be answered given in the study design, data collection, technique, sample size, statistical analysis, and other ethical issues, etc. Number four, evaluate the quality and originality. The only way to determine originality and relevance in the context of recent and reliable research. Determine whether the study topic or objectives are clear and important or not. Check to see if they are well defined in line with the body of existing literature and add to the body of knowledge in the field. Number five, focus on strength and weaknesses. Clearly state the advantages and disadvantages of the methodology presented in the manuscript. Check to see if the author addresses the ramifications of finding and admits any limitations in the paper or not. It's very important to focus on strength and weaknesses in a paper. On the basis of that only a particular reviewer can give comments. Number six, evaluation of ethical integrities. Take, check to see if the study complies with ethical norms, including handling sensitive data in a responsible manner, protecting human or animal participation, and providing sufficient informed consent. Any ethical issues should be reported to the editor. Number seven, constructive feedback. Preparation of constructive feedback is also another crucial step in reviewing journey. Address each aspect of the article in details and provide suggestions for improvement. Concentrate on the advantages, disadvantages, points that need more explanation, new research or experiments or any issues with the technique, analysis and interpretation. Submitting the comments. The last step includes submission of comments or reviewing art output to the journal or editor within the time frame. For each comment, consider yourself as an author in backend so that you can see how it feels to see such kind of comments. Now, we'll be discussing the peer review checklist that IP Innovative follows for all particular sections of a paper. Title does the title reflect the main subject hypothesis of the manuscript? Is the title complete? You need to see these two things in the title. Abstract. Does the abstract summarizes and reflect the work described in the manuscript? 
as in ip innovative we follow structured abstract or original research article so this is very important point to check whether the abstract is fitting properly under the whole paper or not keywords do, do the keywords reflect the focus of the manuscript does the keywords are really having any relevance with the paper background a particular reviewer need to check does the manuscript adequately describe the background present status and significance of the study or not methods does the manuscript describe methods like experiment data analysis surveys clinical trials etc in adequate details are the study methods are sound and appropriate is statistical analysis appropriate so while checking a paper in method section a reviewer need to check and address these questions results are the research objectives achieved by the experiment used in this study does the manuscript meet the requirements of biostats and other results part discussion does the manuscript interrupt the findings adequately and appropriately highlighting the key points concisely clearly and logically in the discussion accurate and uh, check the accuracy and does it discuss the paper significance and relevance to the clinical practices sufficiently illustration and tables are the figures diagrams and tables sufficiently good quality and appropriately illustrative of the paper contents do figures require labeling with arrows etc and better legends references does the manuscript cite appropriately the latest important and authoritative references in introduction and discussion sections so checking the references is also another major factor a reviewer must check while reviewing a paper quality of the manuscript does the manuscript is fitting under the journal or does the manuscript coherently organized and presented is the style language and grammar accuracy is appropriate research methods and reporting the article of the interest is to education research and community a reviewer must need to check does the paper is having all the scientific information that is required for a particular journal ethics statement for all manuscripts author must submit the related formal ethics document that were approved by the local ethical review committee did the manuscript meet the requirements of ethics so these were some basic points that a particular reviewer should check or we can say this is the peer review checklist a reviewer must follow while reviewing a paper thank you for being a part of our this module stay tuned with our upcoming modules for more details please visit our website www.mprp.in or slash www.ipinnovative.com thank you